Hey, welcome back. We're going to create a relatively simple model, the most indirect way that you possibly can, just to show you that there are dimensions that are there that are kind of uh, difficult to come up with, but we're going to make the computer do the work for us. So we're going to use a uh, reference sketch to create our uh, thickness for this particular part. And we look at the we look at the drawing here, and uh, we can kind of show that we've got a gauge pin here and then we've got a height that we're actually going to check over this particular gauge pin. It's really kind of difficult to check this, you know, if you're going to set it in some sort of V-block, you know, without touching on these three, uh, couple points on one of these pins and then touching with your third point on your reset of depth mics. So we got this 120 degree V and we got this shape over here. So we're going to start with this particular shape and then we'll draw a reference sketch for our overall thickness of the part because it's not really given, but we can derive it. So let's go ahead and get started. And uh, we want to make sure that we are in inches. So I'm going to select a new part. And I want to make sure that we're in inch pounds. And we are. Look down here at the bottom right. So um, we're going to start with the feature, an extruded boss base. And I want to be on the top plane. And I'm going to start with just a sketch somewhere along the lines of this up, over, up, down down over and here all right so it's kind of a little disjointed so i want to add a relation between that and this line and i want to make those equal and parallel uh, this one and this one equal and parallel as well um, so this one and this one they need to be equal and parallel all right so I want to also want to center this thing up. So I'm going to use a midpoint from here to this, and I want to add a relation between that and here. I want to go to midpoint. So that kind of gets everything somewhat situated. I see one other relation that we need, this and this. I don't know if you have parallel. Okay. So smart dimension from here to here should be a parallel dimension, and that was 1.5. This one to this one was... 0.188. This was 0 0.309. This was 0.25. And then I think we have an angle dimension here of 135 degrees. So we take a look at our drawing here, and that is 309, 188, 135, 250, and one and a half. So that's what we've got here. Problem is, I don't know how thick it is. So we're looking at this, and we've got a general idea. It's somewhere around a quarter of an inch, because we've got an eighth inch pin and 120 thousandths over that. So let's go back, and let's create a, say, reference sketch. And I want to make sure that we use uh, construction geometry. So I'm just going to pull a center line out, just to kind of keep things organized. And then I'm going to put a circle out here that's going to be for my gauge pin, and I'm going to make sure it's for construction as well. Smart dimension, we know that that is 0.125. And I'm going to place this maybe 1.5 just to kind of move it out of the way. All right, so now we want to create this V shape right here to come up with the distance between here and here. All right, so let's go ahead and use some center line or construction geometry. I'm going to start with a small little line here up, over, down over and back so that's our general shape so now we want to start adding relations so this line and this line they need to be equal um, this one and this one need to be equal and this arc and this line need to be tangent and this line and this arc need to be tangent all right, so now we can start doing some dimensioning. So we look at this, we've got a 15 thousandths flat, we're 120 degrees, and we're 5 eighths wide or 0.625 wide. So let's come back. So this 0.015, this angle here, we want it to be 120. This distance needs to be 0.625. And from here to here, I've got to hold the shift key down when I select the circle because that's an alternate radius. And we know that was 120 thousandths or 0 0.120. 0.12, not 
one two point one two. So now we're fully defined, but it still didn't give me the overall height. This is where we want to come back and select this line and this line. It's going to yellow this. I'm going to place it down. Make this dimension driven. Yes. So now we have our overall thickness of this particular part. So I'm good to uh, exit my sketch. I should still be in the extruded ball space. I know that I want it to be 0.25 thick. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Now, what I've got to do next is I've got to cut this V out of here. So let's come back to our part. We want to select the right plane. We want to create a sketch. I'm going to use this. This time I'm going to use a midpoint line. I'm going to pull it out, place it here. Now I want to select a regular line from here to here. And then I want to draw one from there, it's this side to this side. Okay, I'm going to add a relation. I want this line and that line to be equal. Smart dimension 0 0.015. And from here to here on our angle was 120 degrees. So we're now fully defined with our sketch. Verify that bottom right hand corner. I want to come up here. I didn't select features to begin with, but now I know I want the extruded cut. I want to make sure that I go through all both so I don't really have to think about it again. But my arrow is pointing the wrong direction, I believe. So it's going to remove everything up. So what I want to do is I want to flip the side to cut. So it's going to remove everything underneath. And I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Now, one thing that we have is I don't really have my reference sketch out here. Um, so what I want to do is I want to create a sketch on the right plane. I want to create a sketch on the right plane. I want to create a construction circle. I want to be for construction. I also want to add a sketch point because I'm going to use this in my drafting file. So I want to add some relations. I want to lose that point. I want to pick this bottom edge and my circle. I want it to be tangent. I'm going to pick this bottom edge and my circle. I want it to be tangent as well. So I'm going to come in here and place this down at 0.125. So now we're fully defined and we have a sketch. So I exit that sketch. Sketch is showing, which is what I want to do. So I want to, let's see if we can add a material. So let's edit a material. Um, this time I want it to be other metals. And I want it to be tungsten. Apply and close. And now let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to save it as Jump 1. Alright, so I'm going to use Control 7 and I'm going to save it again so we put it in an isometric view. So now let's create a drawing from this part. File, make a drawing from part. I want to right click and I want to change my properties. Um, properties. I don't want to display the sheet. I just want to. I just want a blank sheet. We'll talk about the title block some other time. So I want to use the uh, right view. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to place it. Um, really not the size that I want, so I'm going to select it. I'm going to use a custom scale. Let's go four to one. That's probably good. So now I'm still selected here, and I want to rotate this to 270. So that's going to flip it up that direction. So I now can still see this gauge roll. So I'll go ahead and accept it. View layout. I would like to project a view from this. So project a view. So I'm going to pull it out and place it. Now one other thing that I need is some more reference geometry. So I want a center line. I'm going to place a center line between these two. Pick the center line. Drag these little nodes there. So they're a little bit further out than, than the drawing itself. So let's go ahead and start dimensioning this. So I'm going to place this down. Uh, let's not dimension it just yet. This was a three place decimal. So let's create our options. Come up here to the options tab, document properties, and the units themselves. So I want a three place decimal. So I'm going to select that. And in my angles, I don't really want any decimal places afterwards. So now we're ready to start dimensioning. So I'm going to place this down. And I'm going to come and add some text.
And so let's move on to our next one. So we want to come from here to here. We also want to add text. And let's do from here to here, 0.625. This 0.074, I do believe was a reference. So we got to add some parentheses around it. We have a 15 thousandths flat at the bottom. And we also have 120 degrees out here. I believe that was all that we nearly need. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep. So now over on this side, we create our parallel dimension from here to here. Place it down one and a half. This one was 0 0.309 and that was a typical or two place. So and this was 0 0.25, also a typical dimension. And then we have this web thickness of 0.188. And I think we've got a 135 degrees here that was also typical. So I think we've got that dimension up and that's how you would place all of these out here. And that's how you use a reference sketch to, uh, to complete your calculations. So, so if you don't have everything just given to you that straight up, it's, it's probably going to be there and you may have to do a little bit of work to uh, find this thing out. But before you go asking questions, try to dig into it a little bit, find out, you know, if everything is there. And I um, hope you learned a little bit of something about using a gauge pin over a V-block. And we will see you on the next video.